CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 66 through 70. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 66. An IT specialist needs to provide support to a user who is working remotely on their Windows computer. The IT specialist would like to see the user's screen in real time while they troubleshoot the issue together. Which remote access technology should be used to allow both parties to view the screen simultaneously? The answer is D. MSRA. Microsoft Remote Assistance, or MSRA for short, allows a technician to view and interact with a user's Windows workstation in real time. With this remote access option, the technician and the user can see the screen simultaneously. MSRA is built into Windows and provides a secure way for the technician to offer help while the user retains control over their session. This shared view aids in providing a collaborative troubleshooting experience. Question 67. An iPhone was permanently locked after multiple incorrect login attempts. To restore access, which of the following will be needed? The answer is C. Apple ID of primary account and password. When a smartphone is permanently locked after multiple failed login attempts, it typically requires the credentials of the primary account associated with the device to unlock it. This is a security measure to prevent unauthorized access. To restore access, the user must enter the primary account email and password, such as an Apple ID for iPhones or Google account for Android devices. Upon verification of these credentials, the device unlocks, allowing the user to regain access once again. Question 68. A macOS user is concerned about the security of their data and wants to ensure their entire startup disk is securely encrypted using AES-128 encryption. Which built-in macOS utility should they use to accomplish this task? The answer is D. File Vault. File Vault is a feature built into macOS that provides full disk encryption to protect the data on your Mac device. When File Vault is enabled, it encrypts the entire startup disk, including all files, applications, and system files. This encryption ensures that even if someone gains unauthorized access to your Mac or removes the hard drive, they won't be able to access your data without the correct password or recovery key. Question 69. During a customer service call, a client expresses frustration regarding an advanced software feature that is not performing as expected. As a support technician, this specific functionality is beyond your expertise and requires specialized assistance from a dedicated technical team. Despite explaining this to the client, they insist that the issue be resolved immediately. Which of the following options would be best to adopt in this scenario? The answer is, B. Apologize and promptly escalate the issue to a manager. Apologizing to the customer demonstrates empathy and understanding of their frustration, which helps in maintaining a positive rapport. By acknowledging their concerns, the support technician validates the importance of the issue to the client. Escalating the problem to a manager or a specialized technical team ensures that it receives the necessary attention and expertise required for resolution. This approach not only shows respect for the customer's time and concerns, but also maximizes the likelihood of a satisfactory outcome. Question 70. A user notices that their laptop screen is dim and quickly turns off when they step away from the device while it's running on battery power. Which Windows setting is most likely to resolve this issue if this is the only problem with the device? The answer is, A. Power Plans. Power Plans in Windows offer users a versatile platform to fine-tune power management parameters, encompassing factors such as screen brightness and screen timeout. These settings can be adjusted dynamically, catering to the varying needs of users whether their laptop is connected to a power source or operating on battery power. By selecting or tailoring a power plan to their specific requirements, 
users can effectively extend the duration with which the screen remains active and regulate screen brightness levels. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.